To understand what's going on with your specific situation, we should pause and take a look at what healthy looks like so that we understand what's going on when there are problems. First of all, let's take a look at this animation. You'll see that the chewing system is actually made up of muscles, bones, jaw joints, ligaments, tendons, and teeth and gums. So it's not just teeth and gums that we look at at Chittenden Dental. We're actually looking at the entire chewing system and how things are functioning or how there is dysfunction and what we can do about it. So let's look at the way that things should work in a state of healthy. As we open, the jaw joint stays in the socket. And as we close, the jaw joint stays in the socket. All the teeth come together all at the same time. So in essence, our bite is coordinated. Our jaw joints touch in the most stable, orthopedically correct position at the same time that our teeth are in the most stable bite. All teeth are touching all at the same time. This is really what we're looking for in health. So now we've taken a look at how everything should be when everything is working the way it should in health and our bite and our jaw joints are actually coordinated. Muscles, everything is in harmony. So let's take a look at what can happen when there's dysfunction. If we have bite dysfunction, oftentimes what we see is that there's a back tooth or multiple back teeth that are in the way that hit first. And this is a product of our entire, our entire bite being off. And so in order for our jaw joints to continue to function, when our bites come together in the back, our jaw joints actually dislocate and go down and backwards in order for us to be able to fit our front teeth together so we can bite into that sandwich or chew and function normally. So although it appears as though our teeth are all lined up and they're all together, we could even have a situation where someone has had braces and their teeth all look like they fit perfectly. They look straight. It looks like everything is working. But in truth, at the back, you could see that the jaw joint is dislocating, damaging the disc cartilage that should protect between the jaw joint and the skull, and also actually damaging the jaw itself, the top of the jaw, and the skull or the ear canal. In these situations, we can have everything from ringing of ears, pain, headaches, uh, muffled hearing, vertigo, all kinds of symptoms can come from this type of damage, all due to the chewing system not functioning the way that it should. In harmony, teeth and jaw joints should function together. So as you can see, when the bite is not functioning correctly and supporting the jaw joint, you'll see this teeter-totter between the teeth and the jaw joints, which creates breakdown at both ends, both the jaw joints, including that cartilage disc that's trying to protect, as well as breakdown at the teeth. So you'll see the chipping, the wear, and the breakdown in the teeth, as well as if we were to look with a 3D image, we would see all that wear and breakdown simultaneously occurring in the jaw joint. And so this is something that the body tries to protect us from, and so we compensate. And what happens is, our muscles, ligaments, and tendons are all stretching and we'll use our neck and we'll use our traps and we'll use accessory muscles that can create neck pains and issues to dislocate our jaw joint and keep it there while all the muscles and everything are carefully bracing tight and unhealthy to help our teeth fit together. That way we can actually chew and eat and bite into that sandwich with that lettuce in it and it appears as though our bites are working as they should, as we're able to chew our food, but quietly in the background, there's wear and breakdown, chipping and issues on our teeth. Again, we'll simultaneously, we have that issue in the jaw joint where there's wear and breakdown as well. And so what this looks like in function is our bodies start to pick up on these compensations and we start to grind and clench our teeth because we're looking for that good fit. We're looking for that good, stable, balanced fit of our teeth 
and jaw joints, but the teeth are in the way and they're not allowing everything to function the way that it should. So this dysfunction of the chewing system will create symptoms and issues you may have experienced like breakdown, chipping of the teeth, breakdown of the bone or gum tissue, recession of teeth, as well as breakdown of the jaw joints, which can create pain in muscles, pain and headaches, muscle spasms, neck pain, back pain, or popping and clicking of the jaw joints, among many other issues that we can help identify not to be limited to, but including sleep problems, breathing problems, or we call it airway issues, which we can also discuss in a separate video. So given now that we understand where the problems lie, which is in the fit of the teeth, we have a conservative way of being able to balance the bite and jaw joints and to help them function simultaneously in a healthy way by using a dental orthotic. This dental orthotic is very small and natural, comfortable and aesthetically pleasing, and it fits only on the top jaw, and it's made to be very comfortable. And with this orthotic, we can actually balance the bite where there aren't just back teeth touching first, we help all the teeth to touch all at the same time, and we're able to heal that jaw joint and help that jaw joint stay in the most stable position. So we, in essence, are stabilizing the chewing system, helping all the muscles, tendons, ligaments, everything relax, and helping the bone cartilage and everything else to heal. The result is that pains and issues, sleep issues, other things that we identify can improve. And we will see the improvement of what things are actually being caused by the chewing system dysfunction. We'll see those come out as we use and wear the orthotic. This is stabilizing the chewing system. And so we can use this orthotic in two different ways. The orthotic can be worn part-time just at night, and this will protect us when we're unconscious and unable to stop ourselves from clenching or grinding, which in essence, will protect the system and at least bring us stability for that one third or so of the day that we're asleep. This is what we call palliative care. This is not getting to the underlying cause of the problem and treating it, which is really in essence, fixing the bite and working on the fit of the teeth. But this is just giving us that good, stable bite, that artificial good bite for at least some time, like I said, during sleep, when we're the most uh, vulnerable to problems. A second way that we can use this orthotic is as a blueprint to tell us what actually needs to happen at the level of the teeth in order to maintain that stability and health between the teeth and the jaw joint. So that orthotic replicates, like I'd mentioned, an artificial good bite in your specific situation to help us to know what to do to give you a true good bite. Do we have to move teeth? Do we have to alter the shape of the teeth to bring back their original form and function before they were worn or chipped or broken? And what do we need to do exactly in order to make everything work to help restore health and function? What we've seen over the study of many years is that treating this problem will actually result in long-term health and stability. And like I had mentioned before, many symptoms and issues that you may be experiencing can resolve and will stay resolved and will maintain health and stability for many years to come. And so this is complete treatment, the type of care that we could provide at Chittenden Dental to treat the entire chewing system, not just teeth and gums. We are elevating the standard of care, helping to treat holistically, that's whole with the W, the whole chewing system, airway, bite, jaw joints, etc. So if you're interested in getting to the root of your underlying issues, treating in a way that will actually last for the long term, contact us at Chittenden Dental to set up a consultation where we can take a 3D image and discuss your specific situation. We'll look at your jaw joints, your airway, 
sinuses, your entire chewing system, and we'll see where issues lie and we can discuss treatment options. So please contact us today. Thank you.